What's good, BitRushers? It's your boy, D5Brains here, back with another edition of BitRush Crypto. In today's episode, we're going to be going over a how-to step-by-step guide on bridging your sandbox LAN from the Ethereum network over to the Polygon Matic network. So if that all sounds good, do stick around. If you guys are new around here, please consider subscribing. Bell on to be notified as I drop new videos. If you're enjoying the content, do tap on that thumbs up button. Find links below in the description for all my social media and everything regarding today's video. And just a real quick reminder to come on over to Twitter and follow us at Abraxas underscore Dow. You can also join up the Discord, discord.gg forward slash Abraxas. Keep up with everything I got going on here with the brand. We're currently doing physical comic claims for the Crypto Pumpkin Patch NFT. So if you guys own one of these NFTs, you can claim for a physical edition of our comic book, which will release sometime in October. And if you don't own a pumpkin patch NFT, you can pick one up and still claim. It's never too late, so go ahead and do that. And let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is just come on over to sandbox.game and minus slash en because I am in English. If you're in another language, it'll be whatever language you guys have chosen. But basically, you're going to come on over here and just sign in. You do need a account already set up so if you don't have one set up you can you know go ahead and set that up but i already have that done you guys have seen previous videos so for me i'm just going to sign with my metamask and it will sync up with my account okay once you're logged in you're going to see a screen that looks something like this with your user account over here on the right just go ahead and click on that for your profile and when you come down you'll see a tab for staking as you can see right here, they do have a banner, stake MSAN, which is the Matic sand, and enjoy the benefits of staking, earn more MSAN, stay tuned for announcements. So if you guys need help with that process, I have another video on that. Go ahead and check that one out. Maybe it'll be linked in the description or popping up above now. But if you search my channel, you should easily be able to find it. I do have a playlist specifically for the sandbox. What we're looking to do here today is to move our sandbox LAN from the Ethereum network to the Polygon Matic network so we gain a multiplier. It looks like I'm already getting that multiplier actually, so 1.1% over the um, normal 29% here, so that's really good as well. But what we want to do is we can see down below right here we have bridge sand. So um, do you need sand on Polygon, bridge sand? We're going to use that same link for our LAN. So just go ahead and click on that. And it looks like they've currently paused withdrawals on the Polygon network. So um, if you're looking to withdraw anytime soon, maybe you don't want to do this. For me, it's not really a big deal because it is a long hold. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Now that we're over at the bridge page here, we can see what I have available and I have no sand available on the Ethereum network. I do have just a little bit of Ethereum here for gas fees, about $53 worth or 0.05 ETH at the time of today's recording. And coming down a little bit, I can see all of the land I own. Bitrush Village, okay, that's what I named my uh, piece of land there. So that's the one we're gonna be moving over. You can see your coordinates and how big it is. It's a one by one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click that and come down and you can't really see it on screen here, but it just says confirm deposit. We're gonna click that and it's gonna give you another screen here that's gonna just go over everything. Looks like the fees are gonna be nice and low, 0 0.0093 or about $9 in Ethereum. And the total cash back, it's going to give me 10 Matic Sand, which is about the value of that gas fee. So if all that does sound good, go ahead and click Confirm. And again, we are going to need to confirm on our uh, MetaMask wallet or whatever wallet you're using. And it looks like it was successful. Oh, we're going to have to pay another fee here of $7. So it actually looks like I'm going to lose a dollar on this transaction. I thought I was gaining one. Um, you never really win, I guess, any of these things, even with the cash back. But that's all good. I'm happy to move it over and make a little bit more here on the Polygon network with my stake. So go ahead and confirm that. And it says deposit step 205. Transaction is in progress. Please wait until the transfer is confirmed and the transfer amount is one land. So we're just going to wait here until it confirms and then we'll go ahead and take the next step. There we go. Looks like that was successful and it says deposit and route. Please wait until the transfer is complete. So I'm guessing step three or four is now over here on the Polygon network. So let's just wait another minute and hopefully this transaction goes through nice and smooth. 
do 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 Okay, I've been waiting for about 10 minutes now and nothing has happened yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and check over on Etherscan and we can see this transaction was confirmed about 11 minutes ago. So even though it does say right here to kind of wait till it's complete, we also have a button right here below um, just off screen where it says back to bridge. So I'm just going to go ahead and click back to bridge and hope it doesn't mess anything up and hopefully this transaction will be complete. Yep, so back on bridge, it does say step three of four. So if we click on it, it just opens this up again, so no big deal. And while we're waiting, I came back over to staking, and I'm just going to go ahead and claim my rewards here that I've got. So I was wrong before, that was uh, 313,000 are the total amount of weekly rewards that they're giving out. But if you click on that drop down menu, we do see the amount that I have staked, and it's 280M sand or about $450, so just under $500 there. So what I'm going to do is just click the claim button and let's start that process as well. And this obviously has nothing to do with bridging over to land. Um, I just figured while I was waiting here, I'd go ahead and get this done. You're going to have to switch over to Polygon and confirm the transaction. So I guess you guys kind of get a two for one video today in addition to bridging the land over, showing you how to claim your rewards. And if we come down and check my wallet over on the Polygon network, we can now see I do have that 58.99 sand available. Okay, back on my profile, we can just scroll down and see that we now have that land under the Polygon section here. So it does look like that is complete. The final thing we want to do is if we scroll all the way down, we can now claim that cash back, that 10 Matic Sand for doing the transfer. Basically, they're reimbursing you for the gas fee, even though it was about $11 in a fee, and we're only getting about $10 worth of sand back. It still helps nonetheless, so it's really great to see that they're offering that claim. Go ahead and click the green button. Just confirm that transaction in your MetaMask wallet or whatever wallet you're using. Great, looks like that transaction has completed. So now if we want, we could go ahead and stake that remaining 10 sand. I'll let you guys decide for yourself what you wanna do with your cash back sand. Obviously nothing on this channel is financial advice, but I'm gonna go ahead and stake mine. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully it was nice and easy for you guys to follow along with those step-by-step. -step. Um, get your land bridged over on the sandbox from Ethereum to Polygon. Hopefully you didn't get confused with those extra steps of me claiming and staking my other stuff I have going. Um, if you that confused you at all, just go ahead and ignore that whole piece and everything else should be simple. Just a few clicks of a button a little bit of waiting, about 10 to 20 minutes total for the process, and everything's nice and simple. Thank you guys again for watching. If you did enjoy it, tap on that thumbs up button, share it on social media, go ahead and click through in the description any of the links, especially my social media. Go ahead and give us a follow. Again, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.